guys, how's everybody doing? In this video, I just want to address a few things that I have been experiencing when it comes to flipping NFTs. So as you all know, NFTs are something that has been a craze and it has been booming recently and it's been a uh, industry that has seen exponential growth and will continue to see exponential growth in the future. So because of this, there has been a lot of resellers coming into the industry trying to make a quick profit. So there's a few things that I want to address when it comes to buying NFTs and trying to flip NFTs in general. So Variable and OpenSea are two marketplaces where you see a lot of flippers and another one is Nifty Gateway. So Nifty Gateway is the one that I'm going to be addressing in this video and uh, let's, just, just, let's just get straight into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about is when you're buying NFTs, please make sure that you're buying NFTs, uh, especially if you're looking to flip them. Make sure that you're trying to find artists who have a reputation and not upcoming artists because obviously upcoming artists don't have reputation. So therefore, their art is not going to flip as easily as somebody who's been in the industry for a longer period of time. So I'm going to give you an example and a mistake that I just made uh, just the other day. And uh, let's get straight into it. So this has been art that's been dropped by Mark Ferrer Vives and he's this is this was his first drop on Nifty Gateway and he doesn't have a big following on social media so on Twitter I believe he only has 1100 followers and he hasn't really established himself in the industry yet so he just released a drop these were his three pieces this piece right here this piece right here and this piece right here for some reason, uh, his pieces are not actually showing up. Only just one of them. Uh, one of them is. I'll show you that so you guys can see it. Uh, it's very vague material, and it's not very. Um, in my opinion, it's not really the the best art that I've seen. But everybody, everybody's entitled to an opinion. So what I try to do is I try to. I've been flipping stuff on. NFT gateway, uh, on Nifty Gateway, excuse me, and I've been doing so successfully. But what I have made a mistake with is I have purchased uh, this piece just the other day, and as you can see, it wasn't even sold out. I didn't do my research properly before buying this piece because I was busy doing other things and I ended up getting caught up. So that's a mistake that you should avoid uh, doing is that whenever you're trying to flip a piece or buy a piece, always do your due diligence and your research behind the artists. So that way you can uh, ensure that your NFT will continue to have value in the future or will be able to be sold fairly quickly. So um, this was his first piece. <laughs> it's actually very bizarre. It's like an, uh, it's called the farm or the egg, the farm. Yeah. And it's basically like a rock that's being, laid out so to speak <laughs> okay but um yeah so that that's it that's his art piece and so i'm gonna go over to show you exactly what i meant so this was auctioned it was only auctioned for 250 dollars, which was the highest bid which is the lowest the lowest bid that i've seen on any art piece on nifty gateway yeah. thus far usually uh when it comes down to the last hour or two hours when a auction is about to end, the bidding increases drastically because people are obviously going to wait to the last minute to put in their bids. That way their price doesn't increase too fast during the initial initial auction. So just the fact that his piece was auctioned off after everything for $250 is uh, not a good sign that this artist has a reputation. The other thing is that this piece over here ended up uh, getting, there was only 10 editions and only seven, seven of them were sold. So um, not high demand at all. And I'll show you uh, specifically on this piece what I mean by not, uh, not having a high demand. So if I scroll over here and I go over to his, I apologize. I'm gonna go to my profile. And I think I'll have more, I'll be able to see additional details over here. And you'll see over here. So I'm, I'm, I bought it for $350. I'm trying to sell it for $399. I doubt I'm going to get $399. I'm just holding it at this point. But for, as you can see on the secondary market, 
Seven of them were sold on the primary market and only one was sold. One was only able to get su successfully flipped and it was flipped for a loss. So he bought it for 350 and sold it for 250 and then he still paid the fees for Nifty Gateway and the um, and to the artist for the fees that get broken down from those from this $250. So this guy ended up probably losing $150 to $200 on this sale. So I'm probably in the same boat and it's probably not going to look pretty but this is a lesson that I'm going to take and learn from and I want you guys to learn from my mistake as well. So uh, let's move on to the second thing. So this is another artist that I ended up not doing my full research on. It wasn't as bad as the one that I just showed but there was from this from this person from Matthew Taylor's collection he was able to get successfully sold out which was a better sign than the first one that I just showed but there was no demand for this person's art again because he's not well established and uh, he doesn't have a high following on social media and therefore there's probably not a lot of people looking to buy, to buy his art. This one had five pieces and these both had ten pieces and these are kind of replicas of each other so it's basically the same art piece and using the same framework when it comes to uh, actually developing the NFT and therefore it looks like there wasn't as much effort as put in as uh, other pieces so these pieces were sold for $200 I was surprised because I was able to get the first edition of this piece the one that I have is this one that I'm listing for I'm listing mine for a thousand dollars because I have the first edition out of ten I'm just gonna sit on it and wait and see if it can be successfully sold it might take a year it might take six months I don't know but I don't want to take a loss on this so uh, it could be the bad play it could be the better play to just take a loss on it but the two hundred dollars is not gonna kill me whether I lose it or not so that's that's why I'm deciding to just sit on it I'd rather just lose the two hundred dollars than uh, take a small loss on it and then later on the, this art piece actually goes up in value So as you can see here most of the people are trying to sell them for two hundred dollars to three hundred dollars and uh, Only half of us are either not selling it or trying to sell it for a significant profit. So that's a mistake that I made and Again, I should have done my research when before I bought these pieces, but I was excited I was too excited on flipping these pieces and didn't really think about the downfalls I know the reason why I ended up making this mistake was because my mind was elsewhere and I was making money elsewhere on a different trade so because I made a lot of money on that trade I wasn't really thinking about the money that I was investing into this and therefore I ended up making three stupid purchases I ended up actually buying this one as well and thank God I was actually able to flip this for it. so I bought it for two hundred dollars and I sold it for two fifty so I profited twelve dollars from this but the twelve dollars that I made is insignificant when you take into consideration the two hundred dollars that I'm invested into this piece and then the three hundred dollars three hundred fifty dollars that I put into the first piece that I showed you guys so uh, that's two out of the three things that I want to cover and then finally the last thing I want to cover is being careful when it comes to the packages that are dropped on nifty gateway the ones that are more gamble associated so I'll show you exactly what I mean so this artist over here uh, she dropped a piece where basically it came in packs as you can see here so what it was was you would buy six it was sixty dollars a pack and there was a total of 450 packs and for each pack that you bought, bought there was a roll of the dice so to speak and you would have a chance at getting any one of these art pieces the the art the whale was the most rare so there was only a 0.22 percent chance of getting this art piece and there was a high probability of getting these art pieces down here so it's a gamble at the end of the day because you're you're gambling sixty dollars to have a chance at getting these higher at getting these lower probability art pieces and these are the ones that are going to have value obviously because there's going to be less of them produced from this raffle and so what again I ended up making a stupid decision and buying a few of these packs because I haven't experienced this yet I've, I've seen it before but I, I, I didn't want to do it because I thought I was thinking properly at the time and decided that it's a gamble so why would I gamble my money I'm here to make money and I'm not here to gamble my money but again because of the same reasoning I was in the same different trade where I was making a lot of money on that trade I wasn't thinking properly and decided to just uh, I let my emotions get ahead of me and I ended up taking this 
um, risk, which was um, which wasn't the smartest idea. So what I did was I bought a few of these pieces, and obviously getting I ended up getting the lowest value. So I ended up spending sixty dollars, sixty dollars, and I got one of each. And I ended up selling these pieces for $25, which is nothing. So I ended up basically losing my whole investment on these pieces. Now, there was a few uh, lucky individuals who ended up ended up taking this gamble, and they ended up actually getting this whale over here. So there is one whale that was produced from, this, um, from these packs. And right now, it's being listed for $3,000, which goes to show that the ones that are obviously more rare are going to have higher value. He might not get $3,000, he might not, he might or he might not, but the, um, it was essentially a good investment at the end of the day because he only invested $60 into this, and even if he sells it for $500 or $1,000 or whatever the price may be, he's made a profit. And again, these have higher, These also had lower probability, so 0.45%, 1.12% chance, 2.25%. Any one of these top four really had a lot of value. Uh, even these are not the worst because 4.5% chance out of 100, these probably will make profit on them. But again, your chances are so slim that you might as well take your money and put it elsewhere in a more uh, and higher probability trade. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to making money, it's all about increasing your probability to profit at the end of the day. So these were things that I just wanted to take into consideration. Regardless of the uh, platform that you use to make a flip, um, just always or try to invest in, or whatever the case may be, whether it be Rarible, OpenSea, just make sure that you're doing your due diligence on the NFT pieces that you're buying, because these NFTs can be value, uh, they can decrease in value exponentially, they can go to zero. So I just wanted to make this video to help educate you guys and help teach you guys from my mistakes. And again, if, um, before I leave, if you guys found this video beneficial and you guys learned something, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button as it'll mean a lot to me and it'll help me out significantly. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.